Good day everyone, I am Mark Lester S. Chico and today we're going to have first aid in animal bites and cramps. Let's get started. So okay for the first one which is the animal bite so let's imagine that we have a wild animal here and it's a dog and it suddenly bites me on the arm and, uh, just like that then um, first when we have a wound and then because of due to animal bite uh, it can be severe and or minor depending on what type of animal if it's wild or it's just accident and such so first of all we need to check if the infection is severe or minor and in this case so it's a minor so first uh, we need to check signs for infection uh, if we feel painful or we have swelling or redness and such or such a tear gland um, and it smells horribly so we need to get it done as soon as possible so for minor wounds and such so first of all we need to wash it with soap and wa running water so okay when we wash our hands we want to be as gently as possible with drinking water so in this case we need to have soap and apply it and clean the wound very well and after this case if you think the wound is already clean it means it properly and it's done after thoroughly cleaning and rinsing with running water we need now to apply gauze in the wound so here we have to go then we put it on the wound then cover it with dressing in which this case we need to gently spin it around but at the same time it needs to be tightly held well So after covering it with gauze and dressing, immediately go to the doctor and seek for medical advice if you want more additional info on that. After that, uh, we'll go to the second scenario which is cramps. These are spontaneous contractions of different muscles that arise suddenly. Muscles in the back of your leg, here it's high and your foot are often affected. Uh, in this case, we'll go with foot cramps. So for the foot cramps, if a patient is experiencing one, you can advise them to stand up straight with their sole lying feet on the ground and advise them to put some pressure on their sole to relieve some cramps on it. If the first one does not went well, uh, we need to massage the patient which is having foot cramps. So in this case, we need to uh, lie down and advise him or her to put her foot on our lap. Then we need to slowly massage the foot by pinching his or her fingers, toes, then applying pressure on his or her foot slowly and gently. Then after a while, if if it goes well, uh, the foot crunch will be gone. Uh, that's all. So that's all of it. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you learned something new today. God bless us all.